First, let's go about what we found and treasures in the last exploration. Today is the last day of the anniversary festival. Here's a special little something for me. Instruction on how to make my famous scrumptious gelato. Snow gelato recipe. Dr. Baldin? I ordered this book about a doctor thinking it might make it for a good reference material. It doesn't. I wish I'd covered more actual medical practice, but I guess that's not what you're going to get with typical fiction. Yeah, you can take it off my hands. Obtained Arius gem. You're now briefing manually. That's my revenge for taking that quartz. So what does the Arius gem do? It's a squad for five of uh, and gives strength and defense both. And the Waffle dialogue scene now found. Huh. <sighs> Um, Deputy Commander, something wrong? No. I just happened to notice a certain expression on all four of your faces. One I'm all too familiar with. It's the kind of expression one makes when they're about to go against orders. Mm -hmm. She must have realized what we plan to sneak in the auction. A woman's intuition is a powerful weapon. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> Did I say something strange? Well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. At the very least, try not to overdo it, like you did with a string of monster attacks. If you uncover anything of importance, consult with Sergei before anything else. Got it. Unfortunately, it's not really something you can bring up with him, seeing as he specifically ordered us not to. And with that, let's start the actual new episode. Welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero, where we now want to go to Michelin to infiltrate the Schwarze Auktion, eventually. The ship to Michelin will be arriving at this dock soon. We appreciate the patience of those who have been waiting. Let us see, right? What should we do, Lloyd? Are we ready to ride the ship? Let's see... Depart! Okay, let's wait for the ship to come. It might be a bit late for me to say this, but... Um, does anyone else feel a little... Um, underdressed? You do have a point. Something more on the former side may have been a better choice. Well, we don't even know if they let us in. Sure, we got invites, but there's a chance someone in Revage might recognize us. We can at least blend in with a crowd of tourists who are there for the theme park, though. Even so, I think we still stand out quite a bit. Perhaps I should have worn my Michi pyjamas in order to be fully incognito? Uh, no, that would just make you stand out even more. It's true that Mishi wouldn't be out of place there, but still... Ah, this where we're supposed to go? A tourist? Likely. You certainly dressed like one. Hi there, pals. Mind if I ask you a quick question? No, go right ahead. You look like a tourist. Are you looking for someone in particular? Yeah, actually, this city is so big. It's a little disorienting, you know? I'm trying to get to Michelin. Is this the right place? Yeah, it sure is. We're also waiting to take the ship out to Michelin. Nice, I was right on the mark. Suppose I join you guys in line then? Whoops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name's Lecter. Lecter Arundel. I just got you pretty recently. Took the train out from Heimdall. The Imperial Capital. 
Oh, you're Erebonian then? Not that often, but you see Imperials working that location look quite as hard as you are. But between your shirt and those shades, I can tell you're a guy who's here to party. Yeah, well, Crossbell's famous for resort, after all. It's like we say, and in Crossbell, do as your Crossbellans do. I really put a lot of thought into this getup. Maybe you should have put a little more thought elsewhere. I assume you're here to visit the theme park? Theme park? Wait, what? I didn't know they had something so fun at Michelin. Oh man, I should have worn my Michi PJs instead. Um, yeah, I've never been to a theme park either. Michelin began as a resort, but has made a number of expansions recently. Oh, interesting. Anyway, I'm here to attend in place of my boss. Maybe I should have done a little more research before I got here, though. All that other stuff sounds so fun. Your boss? Oh, looks like the ship's here. Ooh, now that's a boat. She's a real looker, ain't she? I better go grab myself a frontal seat on the deck before they're all taken. Catch you guys later. I didn't think it was possible, but that man might be even more careful than you, Randy. What's that supposed to mean? I know I'm a player, but I ain't even close to the same level as Party Boy there. It's clear you underestimate just how much Party Boy energy we radiate. Well, it seems to me they're both like a good time, just in different ways. Rather than enjoying the nightlife and hitting on women like Wendy does, that Lecter guy seems that he just enjoys being footloose and fancy free. Ah, you know me all too well, buddy. He looked like he was around my age, well, wonder what he's doing here all by his lonesome. Oh, what a coincidence. Oh, hello there. Wow, well, if it ain't my favorite girl, Kilika. Thank you for your assistance the other day. Have all of you gathered here to go to Michelin? Yes, we have. How about you, Kilika? Yes, partly for business, but also some pleasure as well. More importantly, who's that garishly dressed gentleman you were speaking with? A friend of yours, perhaps? Nope, that was our first time meeting him. It sounds like he came here from Heimdall to do some sightseeing. Heimdall, huh? I see. Are you acquainted with him? No, you simply had a unique air about him that piqued my interest. Anyway, I will be boarding now. I'd recommend you do so as well, lest you miss the boat. Man, she got to be the coolest, hottest chick I know. I know she said she was going there for business, but do you guys think she's headed for a theme park? Considering she works in the entertainment industry, I'd wager as much. The ship appears to be departing soon. Yeah, we really should have on.
So this is what a cruise ship is like. The interior is more elegant than I expected. There's a reason for that. Unlike the bus system, the Michelin cruise ship is managed by the IBC. They don't even charge travel fare. That is extremely generous. Yeah, considering they want also run the theme park, they probably make it make the money back out, right? Well, if you don't get the patch, it's not like you'll be able to do much besides look when you get there. About 20 minutes till we get there. May as well take it easy till then. Is this everyone's first time traveling on the cruise ship? Though it's only an hour to Michelin, please enjoy your trip. The deck is open for your pleasure, so be our guest. And you catch a glimpse of that bombshell sitting in the back? Man, she rocks that pantsuit. I can't take my eyes off her. This trip was definitely worth the effort. <laughs> I managed to get more funds for the evening. It would be a shame if I couldn't get what I'm aiming for just because I'm short on a little mirror. This time it's mine. This must be another one of the Schwarze Auction attendees. I um, uh, kind of withdrew my entire savings account for this trip. I need to be careful to make sure my girlfriend doesn't burn all of my mirror and purses. My girlfriend's a shopaholic. If I could survive this trip with my savings still intact, that would be great. Today is our long awaited Michelin trip. Boutiques and jewelers. Oh, this will be the day lift in style. My man withdrew quite a bit of mirror for this special occasion. Let's party till we drop! I'm pumped over this theme park. I've got a map printed, so I'm ready to go. It's not lame for a guy to go there alone, is it? I'm just really looking forward to it, okay? What, are you judging me because I'm going to a theme park by myself? No? Michelin. Michelin, a fascinating little place, isn't it? If I had the time, I would have liked to stop by that famous theme park of theirs. Oh wait, you're saying you don't have business at a theme park? No, there's something else I need to take care of, unfortunately. Well, no matter. This won't be the last time I'm a crossbow after all. Perhaps I'll visit Michelin for pleasure next time. I'm sure you have a great time. By the way, I've been wondering what you thought about Archon Seal's latest show. You went and saw it yesterday, right? Yes, the evening performance. In my time, I've had the chance to see many high-quality acts. But truth be told, I've never seen a play crafted with such extraordinary balance before. Balance? What do you mean by that? The script, production, costumes, music, the acrobatics on that beautifully crafted stage. Every part of a play was first rate. I would of course expect no less from such a famous true. But Ilya Plateri? When all those parts of the performance came together with her at the center, it was like the play became a living, breathing thing. It was as if I was watching the birth of a new life. Wow. The birth of a new life. The way you describe it, it's like a miracle. Damn, leave it to an entertainment producer to describe it so perfectly. I 100% agree with everything you just said. It's gotta be the best damn play I've ever seen. <laughs> And Ilya wasn't the only shining light on that stage. It was also the other lead actress. The up-and-coming Risha Mao, playing the Moon Princess. I could almost feel a certain kind of darkness weighing her down. Yet, she harnessed it to push her play to even greater heights. Risha's what? Eh, uh, darkness? 
Pay no mind. It was just a feeling I had. Sun and moon, gold and silver, light and dark, life and death. That girl and Ilepeteri contain remarkably contrasting chi. One could even say those two are the embodiment of yin and yang, or taiji. Yin and yang and taiji? If I remember right, both are concepts from Eastern martial arts. Well, I wouldn't say they're strictly limited to martial arts. But either way, the fact that those two met must be the work of fate. I believe it was those special qualities, the mysterious pull that Crossbow has, that, le that led them both here. That's the best way I can think to describe it, at least. Crossbow's mysterious pull. It seems a little complicated, but, but I think I understand what you mean. I'm oh, sorry, don't mind my ramblings. In any event, I suspect that part of Arconcier's charm is connected to Crossbell itself. It's something I need to keep in mind, or else any performances of theirs outside the state may not do quite as well. Does that mean you intend to return to the Republic empty-handed? Of course not, that would be a waste. I'm sure there are ways to draw out Arconcier's charm, even outside of Crossbell. For my year after negotiations, that sort of planning will be key to soliciting their talent. Interesting. It's amazing how much thought you've put into this. I'm a professional after all. Seeing through the true nature of things, establishing an ideal goal and situation, and finding out how to achieve it. Regardless of one's field, that's the way a professional operates. A professional, huh? That's good advice, thanks Kalika. Yes, it's something we always need to keep in mind. Things are growing more and more interesting by the minute. A health resort, huh? I have some business to attend to myself, but, but I hope you all enjoy yourselves. Hell yeah, that's the plan. Randy, did our objective slip out of that fixed skull of yours? Course not. Turn the glare down a few notches, dear Todd. We headed to a resort, so you should all enjoy yourselves at the very least. I am Michelin is chock full of unbelievably high-end restaurants. For the last decade, my life's journey has been scouring the continent for gourmet food. I have high hopes for Crossbell's cuisine. Woohoo! This cruise ship is awesome! Faster! Faster! I wonder if you're almost to Michelin. Wouldn't you see it if you look out front? I was swamped at work during the anniversary festival, but I finally found time to spend with my family. Today is going to be the ultimate family outing. I plan to forget all about work, kick back and hang out with my family today. I'm so happy that my husband was able to clear a schedule for us. I think this will be an adventure that our son will never forget. Now, I noticed this when they had a big shot of a uh, fairy here, but this this wheel should be moving, theoretically, because that is how these ships move. But no, gra graphic can't handle it. Let Bokura 
Well, uh, you really seem to be enjoying yourself, huh? His singing ain't half bad, but somehow that just makes it even more annoying. Heck yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Gonna live while you're young, you know? And hey, but the Bosch's prince isn't the only one who's allowed to burst into song whenever he wants. What are you talking about? Um, Lecter, can we ask what business takes you to Michelin? If you didn't know about the theme park, then what are you going for? Oh, didn't I tell you earlier? I'm here to my boss's place. He's an old guy with a really sharp case. He got invited but was too busy with other stuff, so he sent me instead. Invited? Wait, who? Oh, I'm pretty sure you heard his name once or twice before. Gilias Osborn. Must ring a bell or two, yeah? Come again? I got it. The old man really knows how to leave an impression wherever he goes. And he's always so particular about this beard. Heck, his whole appearance. Trying to act like he's not just another over the hill old foji. The Imperial Chancellor Gilead Osborne? Also known as the Blood and Iron Chancellor. Does that mean you work for the Imperial Government? Yeah, but I'm just a secretary. You know Speaker Hartman, right? The head honcho here in Crossbell? Last year, he and old man Gilead had a not so secret powwow. Something about laying down cables for an orb or something or another. And I was sent here to make sure the deal goes through. Yeah, they say heavy is the head that wears the crown, but that's all that little people that gotta lift the damn thing. Sounds like a tough job for sure. But uh, are you sure it's okay for you to tell us all that? I don't see why not. After all, you're all going to die here on this boat. What? You. Do you know just how many of my subordinates spawned this ship along with me? Let's just say there are enough of them to ensure you have zero chance of escaping. You're swiftly approaching demise. But why are you doing this? Was this a trap all along? <laughs> oh man, you yeah. just even look on your faces right now. How naive can you get? I mean, who really talked like that in real life? Wait a second. You were just pulling our legs? Do you even have to ask? While I was on the train to cross, but I read heaps of spy novels. Thought it would be fun to put what I learned to the test. But well, Kala, me surprised, because I didn't think it would work that well. Give it to me straight, guys. You were just humoring me, right? Um, well... You looked so serious, you couldn't help but fall for a hook, line and sinker. <laughs> Well, the way you guys reacted, I almost thought you were police officers trying to infiltrate the auction. But I guess a spy novel has twist like that is a bit too outlandish for real life too, huh? As police officers? Yeah, that would be pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you implying that you're attending the auction as well? Yep, that's the plan. Oh, and you can forget about the, all that nonsense about me being the blood and iron chancellor secretary. I'm nothing more than a one of a mill son of a rich noble imperial household. My poor old man can make it, so noblesse obliged demands I attend in this place. I don't know what to believe anymore. 
Sorry, but you don't really look the part of Imperial nobility in that get up. Sir, you wound me. The lovely ladies aside, you guys aren't exactly screaming high class clientele yourself, you know? Yeah. Got us there. <laughs> Even so, we received invitations just like you. So perhaps we run into each other again at the mansion. Looking forward to it. You guys are a fun bunch, so if you see me there, be sure to head over and say hi. It probably won't be long before all the old geezers I'll be forced to talk to bore me to death anyway. Will do. Well then, hope to see you tonight. Sounds good. Take it easy, guys. Look, the only thing I'll spill to you guys is that I'm attending this party in the old man's stead. If I'd known there was a theme pack, I would have rushed across by the first thing in the morning. Oh well, live and learn. You really are a party boy at heart, huh? You wouldn't miss her. I'm no mere party boy. I'm a party man. I follow my heart wherever it takes me. I thought so much about the stream pack. I think I'll go check it out first. Did you just say you just heard of it? How have you suddenly heard so much about it? Thank you for your patience. The cruise ship will be arriving at Michelin shortly. Make sure you have all your belongings before disembarking. Now, if you have played either Trails in the Sky the Third or the Trails of Cold Steel series, you already know Lecter. He's not a playable character, but he's a recurring character there. So this is Michelin. This place is even more extravagant than I'd imagined. It started out as a high-class resort area before the IBC began investing in its commercial development. Hotel and theme park were added around two years ago. And since then, both this place and Arkham City became must-see tourist attractions. Michelin Center is directly ahead of us. They have hotels on the second floor and the whole first floor is filled with stores. They have all sorts of places there. Restaurants, boutiques, jewelry stores, you name it. Yeah, but everything's so damn expensive as regular folk feel out of place as soon as we step foot inside. I've taken a few dates to the theme park and one of the restaurants here before. Good fun, but way overpriced. So, what's the plan, Lloyd? Huh. Let's scout out the area surrounding the auction menu first. Which way is Speaker Hartman's mention from here? If we take a left inside of a mall, we end up in this resort area, where all the villas are lined up. The Speaker's mention should be the furthest one back. Good to know. While we're at it, we should also check out the other areas where we still can. We might even run into more auction attendees, like that Lecter guy. It's likely. Speaking of him, it felt like he was messing with us the whole time. I wonder if he's actually our bony nobility? Who knows? That could just have been another lie, like how he claimed he was a Blood and Iron Chancellor's secretary. Well, regardless of his actual background, the fact remains that an oddball like him was invited. I think dealing with the Schwarze auction is going to be a lot tougher than we thought. Look, a fishing spot! It's time to turn Michelam into Fischelam! Now, I don't need to fish anymore, but... Hey! All right, enough fishing. A 
after the anniversary festival ends I plan to return home to Libel. I have to check out as many fishing holes and try out as many different fishing techniques as I can while I'm here in Crossbow. Alright, come to fish? Still have to uh, scratch that itch from a fishing tournament. I can't blame you. Oh, do you have any bait on you? It's not much, but I'm willing to share. <laughs> well, I wish you the best of luck. Libble sure is blessed to have an angler like Lloyd. Even now he knew fishing over on the opposite shore was the right call. <laughs> when it comes to fishing, his intuition is nothing short of miraculous. The amount of fish he's managed to catch today is incredible. Honestly, everywhere I look there's nothing but swarms of young wealthy ladies. I shouldn't have expected anything less of Michelin. Alright, time to show my stuff. Don't show your stuff to the ladies unless they ask for it. Uh, good day, welcome to Hotel Delphinia. We had a major influx of guests today. As always, it's our pleasure to host them. I assume the guests not currently here are enjoying themselves, basking in all there is to see in Michelin. Hey, did you see that hottie just now? I'd love to clean his room. He was a boy, right? Again with her boys, instead of focusing on that, use that energy of yours to finish sweeping. Ah, oh, come on, aren't you the least bit curious? And I only saw him when he checked in, but that guest was so cute. Ah, what a gift to see him again. If she has enough free time to talk about boys, she can use her time to sweep the floors instead. Locked? I don't get it. What did I do to deserve this? Hey you all, did you happen to spot something, I don't know, lying on the ground while walking on the resort? Um, that's something being an engagement ring? I don't think so. You dropped an engagement ring? Shh, please keep your voice down. Toma, what are you shouting about? Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it, Alvina. Uh, everything's perfect. More than perfect, actually. Is that right? <laughs> You're such an oddball sometimes, Toma. She, she almost noticed, didn't she? I just helped me out here. Oh, sorry, I think I almost ruined this guy's day. In exchange for nearly spilling the beans, help me search for a ring. That'll be enough of an apology. What in the world do we have to apologize for? We have no such obligation, Lord. I recommend we ignore him and focus on more pressing issues. Sorry, that was a little rude of me. I'm begging you, man. Please help. You know about the fireworks show tonight, right? At a the theme park? All I want is to be able to propose under the glowing night sky. What a wonderful proposal. We don't have much free time, but we'll keep an eye out for it. Huh? You will? Ellie? It's not a big deal, right? After all, he's only this desperate because he's thinking of his girlfriend. I think it's quite admirable. And besides, if he isn't able to propose, I'm sure she would be let down as well. Well, I guess I do feel bad for this guy. It would be a shame to come out all this way and not be able to propose. It's decided then. So do you have any idea as to where you might have lost it? Not a clue. All I can say is that Avina and I went on a quick tour of the resort when we first arrived. They kicked us out of a jewelry store though. That narrows it down. Anyway, if you find anything that even resembles an engagement ring, please come bring it to me. After the sun sets, we set off to Michelin Wonderland. I need that ring before then, please. You guys are my only hope. Quest, where's my engagement ring started?
Michael my nephew and made plans to walk around the theme park tonight. He told me that since there's going to be a giant fireworks show, tonight will be full of romance and excitement. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay. So let's look around. There's this way lead. I'm not sure, but it must be blocked off for a reason. Ah, there's something written here. The area past this point is under construction. Please refrain from trespassing, Michelin Development Division. It seems the area up ahead is still in development. I suppose Michelin must have some projects in the works. Whatever it is, I'm sure it will be a sight to see. They got some serious mirror to burn, that's for sure. Well, no use hanging around here. Let's check out the other places. Here at Koserka Boutique, we have a vast arrangement of clothes and styles to choose from. If you'd like, one of our employees would love to help you find a perfect outfit. Anything interesting? Sitting Mushi, I think we have that already. Oh my, that dress fits you like a glove, dear. Do you think so? Who am I to argue with a professional? I take it. Wonderful, if you don't mind, I'll take your measurements right away. Ah, she's right, I think this dress might bring out my finer points. We've been in here for not even a f minute, and she's already bought an expensive dress. Oh god, that's all my savings. Yeah, that is the girl and the boy from the boat. Fortuna? Hmm. It definitely knows how to draw in a custom of a gorgeous aesthetic like that. Aesthetic or not, what it truly matters is how a food tastes. A food connoisseur like myself won't be fooled by looks alone. Now by my tongue I will test whether this famous restaurant can live up to expectations. You know how the IBC funds Michelin and all its construction, right? From what I heard, a panel of the IBC screened a number of chefs and gave only the best one the mirror to open the restaurant here. This restaurant chef is a culinary genius. That Eastern woman has had this really intense look on her face ever since she stepped inside. No way. Is she one of our competitors, Spice? <gasps> Wait, now that I think about it, we don't really have any competitors. I can't believe I mistook an innocent customer for a spy. I feel guilty for making such a rude assumption. A platinum ring? I wasn't expecting to find a ring in a place like this. It's possible this could be the engagement ring Tom had mentioned. We should make time to confirm this with him in, the, in his hotel room, if possible. Dad, hurry up and eat so we can go back to the theme park. All the food in the park looked unappetizing to me, so we decided to take a break and eat lunch here instead. Ah. Hey, slow down. You can't just inhale your food or you're going to choke. I know you're eager to get back to the park, but we still got plenty of time. Welcome to Fortuna, the best restaurant this side of Lake Elm. Please come try each and every one of our delicately crafted dishes. I can assure you that no matter which you choose, our first rate ingredients will send you into a daze of ecstasy. Well, we're good. Forbidden expensive, but good. Uh, I suppose this place flaunts its high class reputation for a reason. However, 
I still think I prefer Mrs. Mao's style of cooking, for all its lack of thrills it makes up for in being pure and simple comfort food. Oh, are you planning to eat here as well? It's quite expensive, but the taste speaks for itself. I heartily recommend you give it a try if you can. Ah yeah, Mrs. Mao. Also a character, a minor side character from Dreads in the Sky. The day has finally come! Wait for me, Mishi! This must be a theme park. And there's Mishi. Wow, it looks like a pretty fun place, huh? Sure thing, they got tons of different attractions. You got your Ferris wheel, roller coaster, and they've even got a haunted house in the merry-go-round. I hear they're building a castle inspired by the Middle Ages too. I think it's gonna look like it's ripped right out of a fairy tale. That's pretty impressive. You have to remember that this place is run by the IBC. Their goal is to attract tourists, so they put in quite the effort. I came here before the spell, but there was so much we weren't able to see everything. You getting more and more excited? Uh, well, uh, we may not have t much time left, but do you want to take a peek inside here? N no. Yet technically, on police business, so we shouldn't. By the sight, the tickets are very expensive. Yeah, those things don't come cheap. Even if we went in now, we don't have near enough time to get our money's worth. How about we come here next time we have a day off? Then we'll be able to experience everything Michelin Wonderland has to offer. I'd like that. How do you strain herself? Wow, this is that theme park I'm always hearing about, eh? Sure speak, I bet this place could keep us entertained for weeks. Woohoo, I've been wanting to come here for forever! The tourist which just entered the park was quite a character. I'm gonna see if I can spot more than one Mishi. If it can be done, I'll be one to do it. Or so he told me, quite enthusiastically at that. That must have been Lecter. What's he playing at? <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but don't you worry. No matter how hard you look, there's only one Mishi in the world. Huh, they must have really carefully sh scheduled shifts to pull that off. Please do not speak such heresy. S sorry. Welcome to Michelin's Pride and Joy, Michelin Wonderland. Do you all have your tickets already? No, I'm afraid we're too busy with work around. Maybe next time. <laughs> oh, I see. I feel bad for you, but we all have those days. I hope you can make your next visit one you never forget. Still, it's a shame that you won't be able to experience a theme park today. It's quite a thrill, trust me. There's still a lot of other things Michelin has to offer, so it's not the end of the world. You should be able to see the fireworks show from outside the park. Be sure to keep an eye out for it, you won't regret it. And he has bond with his family. I was wondering when I explored the city where they were. Polling? Ah, take a look at this. Could this be the engagement ring that Toma guy was talking about? Well, might as well bring it to him and see what he thinks. Yeah. Oh, father, I really want to ride the Ferris wheel. It looks so fun. And it's not just me, Marie, too. We want to go to the tippy top of Michelin. My husband cleared the schedule to take Sonita and I to Michelin today. I'm so excited to see all the theme park has to offer. 
I thought it would be a good idea to spend some quality time with my family every so often. Those two look like they're having a ball, so I guess that so I guess that makes this trip worth it. Beyond you and me, I still have a lot of work to do. The stress does limit how much I can enjoy myself here, but that's okay. Hiya! Welcome to Michelin Wonderland! <laughs> Have fun! Michi, fun and all! To you? Uh, uh, nothing. You did not hear anything? Whoa! Welcome to Diamante Jewelers. Pardon me, sir, but by any chance, do you have an appointment? Oh, um, I assume you need one in order to shop here? Indeed, a store policy. The store only serves members, so I must insist that you refrain from trying to enter from now on. Now then, if you would. No mercy for first time shoppers, then. What the hell's up with that? That guy doesn't seem too eager for us to return, so let's ignore this place for now. Wouldn't want security caught on us. Every time I stop at Michelin, it's always so crowded. Coming here to shop is a feat in itself. This jewelry store does not let anyone step inside without an appointment, apparently. This is absolutely unbelievable! Mama, you've been looking at this jewelry store forever. Let's go play at the theme park. Gold ring. Oh, this ring? This may be the engagement ring Thomas told us about earlier. Let's bring it to his hotel and see it. Thank you for using our cruise service. We hope you have a wonderful day at Michelin. Uh, should we skip straight to the theme park? I promise I'll go on any ride you want today. Oh, darling, are you putting on your brave face for me? Well then, we make sure to write the especially scary ones today. My dad's with me today, so we make sure to have lots of fun. And I think the boy f uh, said that one guy just ran in there. Was really looking forward to it. So that was uh, Lecter. My oh my! What business do commoners have in a neighborhood so clearly out of their league? If you came to sightsee, I advise you to turn around and scurry on back to the theme park. Did you not talk? Did you take a look at my mansion? I suppose I can't fault you for being jealous. Hey, Tell. Since you're my fiance now, you have to put in the work to become a proper man. You hear me? Um, okay, so what should I do? That's not for me to say. Figuring out the answer yourself is the key to becoming a proper man. You're not giving much to work here. Cell is such a good for nothing, truly hopeless. Does he really think choosing a career like that will make me happy? I don't understand what all her fuss is about. Us being engaged is something our parents are saying. Ah, I wish she'd take it down a notch and let me be. You'll find Speaker Hartmann's mansion at the end of the street. I suggest you prepare yourself if you've never seen it before. Its sheer splendor is enough to knock the breath right out of your lungs. Ah, if only the day would come where I could have even a taste of that kind of wealth. Maintaining such a huge mansion must cost quite a bit of mirror. Oh, if only I could have a taste of that kind of wealth. 
and all the other mansions here are locked off. If my memory serves me right, Speaker Hartman's mansion should be somewhere this way. I believe they prepared a guest room for me, so I suppose I'd better hurry on over and get in a bit of rest. Oh, there it is. Speaker Hartman's mansion. So that's Speaker Hartman's mansion. Now that I can see the place, I'd say it looks more like a full-blown castle. His family has been prominent in the prosperous social sphere for a long time now. It's said this mansion was built as a governor general's residence during the imperial reign nearly 100 years ago. Even so, this place is just way too big. It ain't like this guy's from one of the Empire's four great houses or anything. If the auction is being held at such a place as this, it must be an even larger scale event than we anticipated. That's for sure. Wait, is that... Security detail is going to be the same as usual. Though we're expecting those Heiyu pass to try and interfere this year. Listen up, if someone doesn't have an invitation, they aren't allowed in, and that's final. And as such, where will you be, boss? I'll be watching over things inside. One of our enemies is a real slippery bastard. Can never be too careful with him. While I'm here, where all the auction items brought in already, got them all this morning, boss. The doll or whatever was the last one. So, that's our big ticket item, huh? I wonder how much Mira that'll go for. Well, whatever. There's only a few hours until the doors open. Don't lose focus, boys. You got it, boss. You can count on us. Damn. Was hoping we wouldn't run into him. And he's gonna be the one watching over things inside the mansion. Just great. A former Jäger would definitely make things more difficult. If I remember correctly, the party doesn't start until 7pm tonight. But despite that, security is already in full swing. Yeah, they're clearly not taking this lightly. This is going to be a tough job. Even with the invitation, getting inside the mansion is going to take some extra effort. For real, those guys probably know our faces pretty well, given how much trouble we cause them. Do they need to devise a plan in order to deceive them? Let's back off for now. If we get caught, our entire operation will be over before it can even start. Right. Find me. Huh? What was that? Am I hearing things or... Lloyd? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Sorry guys, I think my ears were just playing tricks on me. Whatever you say, buddy. Let's get moving already. Did Tio notice something? Now that we scouted out Michelin, we know one thing for sure. We're going to have to come up with some method to enter the auction incognito. True, the Mafia goes guarding the place will sound the alarm as soon as I see us. Something else been bothering me. Are the invitations really all we need? 
We might have a system in place to check our identities as well. I agree, it's risky. I wish we had thought of it sooner. Maybe you could have asked Gwen about it. Well, I think she already did enough for us by simply getting us these invitations. For now, I just want to find a quiet place to clear our heads. Let's see. There would be too many people at a restaurant. Shall we check to see if our hotel has any vacancies? I doubt there'd be any. Everywhere here is usually booked full during the festival. Well, maybe we get lucky and there'll be a last minute cancellation we can scoop up. Might as well ask a front desk. Yeah, let's do that. But not quite yet, because that is main story advancement and I want to finish the side quest.